Hey everybody, what's up out there in YouTube land? My light is flickering. It's, must be a ghost in here. Anyway, so today I am making a video, as you can see by the title, How to Get Rid of an Infection in Your Industrial Piercing Without Having to Go to the Doctor. Okay, so first of all, sorry that you have an infection. That sucks. I had it too. I got rid of it. I'm going to show you my piercing here. As you can see, it's doing fine. She's not sick anymore. <laughs> and I want you guys to have an unsick industrial piercing as well. So let's get into it. How do you know that your industrial piercing is infected? First of all, if your industrial piercing, like the area around it, swells up, then that's a sign that it could be infected. Um, I know that when you first get it, there's all there's swelling, and there's swelling in pretty much any piercing that you're going to get. But once the swelling goes away, and then, you know, it's normal, and then all of a sudden it comes back, then it could be a sign of infection. I mean, you if you if it's just swollen and there's no other symptoms, maybe you've laid on it and you didn't realize it because you rolled over in your sleep. But um, if it's swollen, you should take it seriously and think about other things that may occur. So your second thing that is a sign of infection is itching. If your ear is itching like crazy in that area then you may have an infection because ears usually well at least my ears don't ears usually don't itch so if your ear is itching in that area and it's not itching on the other side in that same area then most likely you have an infection in that industrial piercing and the last but not least sign which is the most gross is leaking your ear might leak fluid and that shows a big sign that is basically if you have all three of those your ear is infected if it's your ear is gonna leak when you first get it and it's gonna form those little I guess they call them crusties that's normal but if it's like leaking like actual like fluid and it's like leaking down your ear like down here then yeah you've got an infection and I would suggest that you do not wait to take care of it you better get on the first train smoking to get this figured out. So how do you get rid of it without having to go to the doctor and having them tell you to take your piercing out and taking all type of medicines and everything? So what you're going to do is, first of all, continue your sea salt soaks. If you have stopped doing them, you need to start back up. Or if you do them already, you probably need to do them more. I would suggest that you do it at least twice a day. Maybe once when you get up and once before you go to bed. Um, this will help wash out the infection. I like to use antibacterial soap in the water when I do my sea salt soaks. So I put the sea salt in a cup and the antibacterial soap in warm water. Mix it all together and I soak my ear in it for about at least five minutes like five to ten minutes each time I do it and you know wash around it with the um, q-tip to get all the crust or any type of buildup that came in there um, out so once you do that once you do your sea salt soak that's pretty standard for any and everybody you're going to use um, antibiotic ointment um, this one right here in particular is the one that I used. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's the Target Up and Up brand. All it says is antibi antibiotic ointment. I'll probably try to find it on the Target website and leave a link for it below just so you can know exactly what I'm talking about. So, but no, note this. There are different types of antibiotic ointment. The one that you want to get is the one with bacitracin in it. There's other antibiotics in it, but the one that you really, really, really want to look for is the one with the bacitracin. 
This is what's going to help kick that um, infection's ass. This is what's going to get it out of your ear. Um, this one has polymycin B sulfate in it and neomycin sulfate, and it has bacitracin. This is definitely the one you're looking for. If you prefer to get a name brand version of this, which I don't really think you should do, like why pay more money for an ointment that's going to do the same thing. But if you prefer to get um name brand version, I think the name brand version of this is Neosporin. But make sure, make sure you read the back. Make sure it has the bacitracin in it because that's what's going to help you. So, once you're done cleaning your ear with your soaks and your antibacterial soap and you've let it dry, what you're going to do is take a Q-tip and put this on the Q-tip and rub it all in that area. Rub it over each opening, each hole. Rub it over the, the front, the back, everywhere. Rub it all over. And, yeah, it's going to be, like, nasty looking. It's going to feel gross. It's going to be greasy. Yeah, it's going to be all of that. But it is worth it. Smother your whole area in this stuff twice a day. Every time you do your sea salt soak right after, put this on there. I'm telling you, this stuff works and it will get rid of that infection before it takes over. Don't wait until it's too late and your ear is looking crazy. You don't want that. You do not want that. I know everybody has probably seen that video of that girl with her infection and the ears all swollen up. Don't let it get to that point. So, hopefully this video helped you. Go out and purchase this. This will help you get rid of your infection. Um, let me know, comment, rate, let me know if it helped you out, let me know if you tried it and how it worked for you, um, anyway, follow me on Instagram at dopechicks, D-O-P-E-C-H-I-X, and everybody have a blessed day and keep it dope.